Hello everybody, Fred Jedi here. Welcome back to Melody of Memory and Kingdom Hearts. So today is gonna to be a short episode. I'm probably just gonna do I'm gonna do just three songs. So we're gonna do cutscene song, cutscene no. Song, cutscene, song, no, scene, song. Oh my god, how do I get this? Where do I end on that one? Song, cutscene song, cutscene. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do a track. So I'm doing three. One is this, even though not exactly like, oh, it's my favorite, but no. Ooh, yeah, let's go in here. Which one's better? Yeah, it's this one. Just because level 99, boys. Alright, let's do this. Remember, three songs. Slight change of plans. I'm gonna do the next one because I always get the Italian ones uh, for this for this one confused. But man, was that ending great! <laughs> yeah, missed twice. That was it. You return track selection. Yeah. Basically, I'm gonna do Mickey so I don't die. But yeah, I'm I'm excited.
hard as balls, but I love it. It's it's that it, it's that violin that comes in that I just love so much. I that, that boss fight was crazy with Riku, but oh man, that song. I, I, sh I don't know why I went there when I want to go. So yeah, the cutscenes are no longer gonna be just like you know a minute or two. They are like quite a few. God damn it! I forgot there's more. Whatever. We're, we're doing everything today. We're, we're just gonna do a movie time. So enjoy. This place. This world will be engulfed in darkness. Everything you care about, and everyone you love. If you truly possess the power of a princess of heart, your heart will resonate with the Keyblade wielders, and I believe you can lead me to that wielder's world. That is the only possible way to save ours. You see, this is more than an experiment. It's hope. Like most, you probably believe that nothing exists outside of this world you live in. And yet, there are countless other worlds. You can see them sparkle brilliantly in the night sky. Through that sea of stars, fate will guide your ship to where you are meant to be. However, if you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. If that happens, you must abandon your search. We have failed. So, I've said this before, one of the things I love about Kingdom Hearts is how complicated it is.
Superman flying away. So yeah, so you know what? This has convinced me when I... Yeah, we're going back. When I come back after this, because like I said, this will be my last recording for at least for a week or two, maybe. Um, fuck it, it just gets easier. Um, I'm going to do World Tour for you guys. Uh, I can't really start it from the beginning. I mean, I guess I could just create a new account. <sighs> but nothing will count towards what I want to count for. Um, but it'll all make sense that if I just eventually roll up and then that whole cutscene we saw leads into one of those memory dive things. So I could just make sense. I'm just getting the story out. Everyone will know it. But, um... But yeah, I, I think it's an easier way of going and ordering nowadays. But uh, when I come back, I hope to have the ones that I said I would. Uh, all good. Is it is? Yes. Oof, A plus a plus. No, no, Mickey. I need no healing. We are going in. I forgot to go to Team Days. I need Team Days for this. There. Now we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. This is nowhere near a high score area. Nowhere near it. I already showed, I mean, I already had it earlier, but for the missions, where any of the 8,035,000, 350,000. Yeah. Nowhere near my best work for it. But it's just one of my favorite songs. And you know, I know I said I did cutscene song thing, blah, blah, blah. Here we go, last one. Now we could kind of do marathon of cutscenes, so. This gets really, really, really good. <laughs> like, insanely good.
Maybe. A chance? Alright. New <laughs> record. Ah, it's, it's, a, it's that part at the end where it's just a single, double, single, double, single, double, single, du you know, that, that part gets me. But yeah, like I said, I heard that, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's head on back. To outer space. Yeah, I could have just done that last world thing, but I feel like you gotta go through gameplay and a bunch of other stuff and it'll take longer. So I figured just story time cutscenes is, you know, more worth it. So let's see what that cut that, that thumbnail is finally all about, huh? And just like in Remind where we had to collect those rose things. Flower cut. Who are you? Show your face. <gasps> Not so fast, my dear. You're the one who keeps messing with my fate. If it weren't for everything that you've done, then Sora and everyone would be safe. Even if you're not really here, and this is just a memory or illusion, I won't let you walk away. You're right, I set you adrift in another world and drastically alter the course of your fate. In the end, you were destroyed by my hand, paving the way for Sora's disappearance. <sighs> You've become quite the Keyblade wielder. For a retired master, Yensid prepared you remarkably well. <laughs> this world was created from the memories You know, despite all this, Kyrie was putting in work. Like, some people bitch and complain about, like, oh, she didn't do much in 3, she didn't do that. First of all, look what she's wearing, first of all. <laughs> Different than, like, Aqua Fighting, who's also, who's a badass, by the way. Pretty much, like, the strongest, if it weren't for Sora's plot armor, it's probably between uh, Aqua and Riku for, like, strongest uh, good guys. And not like, oh, Terra's strong, like, no, 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 like, a, like all around base, like, main character-wise. Yeah, it, it's between Aqua, probably Aqua more, because she literally fought all that extra time in the realm of darkness so not only did she had her training the stuff that happened birth by sleep all the stuff in 0.2 and the stuff leading up to it and then leading up to the stuff in kingdom hearts 3 so that's basically at least given what she was training before birth by sleep and then everything else like at least 15 years worth well riku even though you know he was 15 when one first started he he it was it was a big different story for it and um Kyrie was putting in work. She had some good moves here, you know, Within and I think it, it should be said. You see clues to you know. whereabouts by using like, your yeah, she's still learning. Him. She's going to get there, you, you know. Through your own heart. And like you said, for retired but master. There's nothing it, you know. for you to find here. Creepy I'm afraid the man. answer you seek lies in memories that are long gone. <laughs> Putting in the work, like seriously. Oh no, she's getting overpowered by the literally like strongest bad guy ever. Oh no, like she's still doing goddamn great. <laughs> you know? That's like saying like if you had Yamcha going up against Beerus and he was putting it out, like, hey, he's putting in work, he's trying, you know? So Yeah, enjoy this. Ah, look who 
joined us. As I thought, your voice can't reach us here. Now I'm certain of where your heart is. She was putting in work. Why does nobody give her props? So you basically have a boss battle as Sora against them, which is really cool. Um, I was like, oh, I'll be proud, even though I haven't heard the song they're about to do. And I'm like, okay, go to standard. Thank you, Sora. On the day that I sent you out from your world, do you remember what it is I said to you? Those words hold the answer you seek. I may cause you to suffer, but I am a product of your heart. For that reason, I shall give you your answer. When my heart and body were still united as one, I told you about what would happen if we were to fail. If you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. That is the answer I have for you. What does that mean? And that's actually really great because a lot of people will complain that the story gives more questions than answers. But uh, to be perfectly honest, that's great. You know, that means it just is more content. I never see a problem with it. Yeah, this is after technically story -wise. If you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. Yes, he said that's the answer. Not of light or darkness, but on the other side? I've never heard of a place like that. Something else he said perplexes me. Your voice can't reach us. I'm certain of where your heart is. Hmm. You would assume that he's referring to the realm of darkness, but that clearly isn't the case here, wouldn't you say? Where voices can't reach the other side of our world, of reality, unreality, a fictional world. Fictional? Hmm. I'm afraid such mysteries are beyond our comprehension. Maybe Mickey or Master Yen Sid knows. Any news? <gasps> Riku! Oh, Kairi, you woke up. Yeah, just now. How come you're here? Well, actually, I found some info about Sora. Really? We got something too. You did? Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Bibbidi bibbidi back, oh, bitches. Excuse me, dears. <laughs> I certainly didn't mean to startle you. If you're not expecting uh, you... magic, it can be a surprise. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> now then, I am the fairy godmother, and it's a pleasure to meet you all. <sighs> 
She came here at Yen Sid's request. He said she's got a clue that might help us find Sora. Yen Sid sent you? That's right. To find Sora, we need three keys. First, Riku, and then, of course, there's you, dear Kairi. Okay. With Riku's dreams and Kairi's memories, you two have already done your part. Kairi's memories? Yes. We performed an examination of Kairi's heart and obtained an important clue from the lost memories it contains, which is that there's another world on the other side of ours that's not of darkness or light. Riku, what did you dream? Oh, well, since Sora disappeared, I've been having dreams about a large city with tall buildings. Apparently, that's the clue. A city? Maybe that's what Xehanort was talking about. A fictional world. A fictional world? Yes, perhaps. The three realms of our world. Light, darkness, and between. These are all places we can travel to. Because they are on our side. This also includes the worlds of memories, data, and dreams. If I am correct, then this other side of our world, from which voices cannot reach, must be a place outside of our reality. Namely, it must be unreality, or fiction. But that is the extent of our knowledge. So I thought, we should go to Mickey and Master Yen Sid to ask about it. Mm, I'm not quite sure they'll be able to help you, my dear. No, they're gonna suck, then, dearie. What now? Oh, you forget. There are three people who hold the key. There's still one more. One with a strong will and a very precious dream. Who is it? You'll see. I'll introduce you. Huh? I'll introduce you. This won't be weird at all. You know, the little throwaway thing. If you weren't careful in Kingdom Hearts 3, you would have forgot. By the way, pay attention here. Riku, Kairi, and Fairy Godmother arrived there via magic, not power of waking. Oh. That means that confirm that we've seen you Sora and Fairy Godmother yeah. can both reach the I final. I came world. here with Sora, and also in my dreams while I slept. This is the final world, but there's no one here. That's not true. Why don't you look closer? Hmm. Huh? <gasps> the stars. I never noticed. Yes. Strong hearts gather here after death, until they are ready to move on. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. She? The final key. Huh? you. We've been searching all over for you, my dear. Do I know you? I'm Kairi. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're all able to retain your appearance in this world. I met someone else who could do that. Uh, so she's the final key? That's right, dear. 
Now we finally have all three. But how exactly can she help? It's simple. She came from the world on the other side. What? Huh? You see, she's very special. Her form was taken from her, but she managed to find her way here. If she goes back to her world, her heart will certainly be stolen. Right, dear? Oh, yes. It seems you know a lot about me. <laughs> a little, and I would use my magic to change you back if I could. But I'm afraid that's impossible while you're in this form. Don't fret, though. I believe that we'll find a way to make your dream come true very soon. My dream? Come true? I want to help make that happen. Will it lead us to Sora? Oh, I'm afraid it's not that simple. First, we must get to her world. She can open a path for us. And you can use the power of waking to go there. The power of waking? Sorry, but did I hear you say Sora? Huh? Wait, do you know him? Yes. He was here. He encouraged me not to give up. Did something happen to him? Yeah. Sora disappeared. He's a good friend of ours. So we've been looking for him. Mm. Right now, we think he's in a big city full of tall buildings. Ring any bells? A city full of tall buildings. Get ready. Quadratum? Huh? It has Boom. more skyscrapers than any other city I know. Quadratum. Quadratum. No more Shibuya or is whatever. Is that where Sora is? Quadratum. There's no way of knowing. But I believe it is possible. All right. Think you can help us? I'm not sure exactly what's happening. But if Sora is in trouble, I want to help. Please let me know what you need from me. Thanks. I'm afraid this is as much as I can do. It's up to you, Riku, to take care of the rest. Hmm. I want to go. Kairi, that's not... <sighs> yeah, I know. I want to go with you. He was like, but... nah, you, you know you're too weak. I know that I can't. I need to finish training. I need to become stronger. And when I do, I'll be right there next to you and Sora. Good. But first, I'll go explain everything. To Donald and Goofy, and to Mickey and Master Yen Sid. <clears throat> <clears throat> be careful out there, dear. And try not to do anything too reckless. Come straight back if you encounter any trouble. I will. And, like, this gets me fucking excited for the next stage of Kingdom Hearts. I, I can't... I, oh, hey, I'm recording now. Anyway, what are you going to do? But, uh, I know I said this was a shorter episode, but, yeah, what are you going to do? But, yeah, I I can't say if somebody watches what I watch and go, like, this is stupid. We like, no, this looks awesome. But that's way too dangerous. I have to go after At least now. for fun. Do not be hasty, Mickey. Look, 
Pastor Yen said. He's all alone in a world we know nothing about. Precisely. We have never faced something like this before. Which is why we must remain calm. But... <sighs> Kairi, this information you bring us, it comes from Xehanort during his time as a researcher? Yes. Then that means he must have been aware of this other world for quite some time. But we defeated Xehanort. Is there anybody else we can ask? Hmm. When I was still serving as a Keyblade Master, it was known that the ancient masters had crossed over into another world. I surmise that Xehanort looked more deeply into that world. The ancient Keyblade Masters. For now, we must reach out to those in Radiant Garden, the land of departure and Twilight Town who are searching for Sora to inform them of what we have learned and have them halt their respective efforts. Donald, Goofy, I leave this to you. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! And Kyrie, will you continue your training as you were before? Will you? Actually, I'd like to study under Master Aqua. That is an boom. I love it. I approve. Thank you. Good. I don't have and to do you, shit Mickey. anymore. Yes. I task you with the investigation of this new world and how it is related to the ancient Keyblade Masters. But how? You'll begin. In the world of Scala Ad Kailum. Yeah, he says Lum too, but Lum, Loom, and Lum is what Master Xehanort and everyone else said. So, that is it for the brand new story stuff. I'm excited. Basically, what you have to sum it all up. Um, shenanigans happened in the past with Kyrie and Xehanort. Um, which, oh God, these fucking kids screaming outside. It is, it is like six something and it's dark out where I am and it's like what the fuck are you just letting your kids run around anyway <laughs> you have Donald and Goofy that's gonna basically gonna go tell Twilight Town crew hand your pencil let hey you could stop and what have you learned Terra Aqua then stop what have you learned uh, uh, you know so it'll and and Mickey's basically gonna go to Scala to um learn about the ancient Keyblade Master, so he'll learn about, what was it, uh, Ifra, what was it, no, um, Asad, Gula, Ira, uh, Envy, and Ava, there we go, that's the guy I don't remember, probably Lushu, and then Master of Masters, so Mickey's gonna get a big knowledge boost, um, and Kyrie's gonna go train a fucking Aqua, that's awesome, that is fantastic. So that's it for this one. Like I said, it'll probably be a gap of when I record. Uh, it's already going to be weird that I just like am in Traverse Town yeah, from Junior Hub Distance. <laughs> and yet I stopped for Melody and Memories. Um, but yeah, ne next time I'll just kind of go through World Tour. I'll go through all the, the things there and just play through it. You know, just have fun. This is a fun game. I, I really enjoy myself when I play this. So... Hopefully you guys will too. If you're a fan of Kingdom Hearts, it's definitely great. It's fantastic. So, thanks again so much for watching. It's been a blast. Have a fantastic day whenever you see this. And most importantly, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. That's it. That's all. Catch you all in the next one. Adios.